So you are a woman of God that arises over difficulties. You're unoffendable. You have authority over the serpents and scorpions. Luke 10, 19 comes to mind for you, that you have authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means harm you. I just say arise, Esther, move in, your, move in power, move in God's power. And even Deuteronomy 8, 18 is your portion. You have authority in wealth. You have authority. God is going to raise you up as a... I feel like, do you, has he talked to you about finances? Like, has he ever talked to you? Do you have million dollar dreams in your mind? Yes. Yeah, I feel like, yes. like even like, I mean, I don't always say this over people, but I feel like he's calling you to arise as a multimillionaire. And like, I just came from a conference called Millions Conference and God is raising up millionaires. You're one of them. <laughs> and um, you're powerful. So move forward in power, move forward in God's beauty. Um, begin to just dress up the body of Christ in purity. Um, show women that they're called to be modest and beautiful, that they don't have to like, you know, all that, you know, stuff that the, the generation is showing. But like, you're a woman of purity and you can teach a lot of young ladies to move in purity, especially with what's going on in our culture right now with the perversion. You're gonna move in such power and authority and God's gonna give you wealth because he trusts you and you're gonna build up a lot of women and multimillionaires even. I feel like you're even gonna pour into people financially. So obviously, um, you know, dig deep in the scripture, get the blueprints. Um, build like never before check out Noah's Ark check out um, everything that has to do with building like Nehemiah praying fighting warring he's gonna give you strategies and blueprints but you have to like dig deep and really partner with his truth and really move anytime he says go go um, don't hesitate like be obedient right away because like it's like there's a timing for everything you know there's a time in the season check out Ecclesiastes 3 there's a time for everything there's a time to tear up um, there's a time to build um, and this is your season to build so arise Esther Amen. What do you think? Give me feedback. Oh my <laughs> You are on a lot of things and I'm yeah. asking the Lord myself, um, you know, why am I here? What do you have for me? Because yeah. Yesterday some breakthrough. He did some things in me yesterday and I'm so free. Amen. And, Hallelujah. Um, so this is a word that you know, yesterday and today. Yeah. I mean, it, it's awesome because I've been decreeing and declaring and I've been prophesying mm. that I was a millionaire. Amen. And so, that was, hallelujah. And that I was yeah, he's been speaking to, to you about that. You know, to help others. That I was Amen. Go and, and help ministries. Amen. I, I was just prophesying and, and I've been saying that. Yeah, yeah. So hallelujah. I, I give God all the glory and all Yeah, the yeah, and yeah. Because I, I, I was not like this, y'all. <laughs> I was a mean, ugly, old, just. Mm -hmm. You know, bow cusser. I mean, if the sentence filled the cuss words, they it did. <laughs> yeah, so I was not like God that. has refined you. You're like yes. gold right now. Yes. Hallelujah! And He continues to refine us. You know. Yes. Seasons by seasons, he continues to heal us in our healing. So he's going to continue to work through you. And I just speak breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.